Max Elixir, all right. Anything on this side? Nope. Okay. Oh, there's an item right there. But uh, nothing on the beach here. Let's go ahead and grab this item. It's the HM for Waterfall. Nice. Now, Waterfall isn't something that's required in this game. You can... You only have to use Waterfall if you want to get uh, to the more hidden areas of the game. But, uh, no. Uh, waterfall is not required whatsoever. Not like in uh, Ruby and Sapphire or in Diamond and Pearl where you needed Waterfall to get into the Pokemon League. Nope, completely optional. Completely optional move. It's a decent Water-type move with good um, for any physical attacker. Um, oh, hang on. I... We probably should fight this guy. This guy only has one Pokemon. And it's Whimsicott. Okay. Give him the acrobatics. There we go. That's, it's, it's instant death. That's what it is. Now, there's something in this rock here. Calcium. Don't know why you'd be finding calcium in a rock. And a dragon scale. Now, unlike the dragon fang, a dragon scale is an item that al allows you to evolve a certain Pokemon. I think it's Seedra, actually, that uses the Dragon Scale. Uh, Watchog, really? Get out. Just get out. Is there an item in here? No. Just more wild Pokemon, apparently. Ugh, really? I can't get out of this grassy patch. I want to head up those stairs. And it looks like a trainer. Veteran Ray. Okay, starts off with a Basculin. Not too much trouble at all. Oh, you're faster than I am. Crap. Oh my god. And that wasn't even a critical hit. Well then. Malfoy. Destroy him, please. No one takes out Petrie and lives to tell of it. Darmanitan is up next. Okay. Rudy. Intimidate men. Love that ability. It takes a rel uh, it takes a threatening Pokemon like Darmanitan and turns it into a relatively non-threatening Pokemon. And Simi Sage is next. Last. Um, Muffet. Oh, 
All right, well, now we're going to head back to that house and have her Pokemon healed again because the guy decided that his fish was faster than my feathered raptor. Freaking Basculin, man. Basculin and Cryogonal. Petrie's mortal enemies. Uh, I should probably switch Pokemon, actually. Or... Yeah. Let's switch. Okay, back up. Uh, dozing machine back on. Oh, it's picking something up. Nice. Huh? How do, how do I get over there? How, how, do I, how do I get down there? Down onto this beach. I, I want to know. I, w I want to know how. Okay, well, I guess I guess I am surfing. Okay, there are currents here. I'll have to make the most of them, I suppose. Oh, really? Another wild Pokemon. I really should break out the repels. I if I had known there would be so many wild Pokemon waiting for us in this uh, surfing spot, then I definitely would have uh, busted out the repels. But anyway, uh, welcome to this relatively secret area. There is a scientist here. I don't know what he has, but uh, I guess we'll find out. And there is an item down there too, so grab that once we're done with him. Ah, Garboder. Uh, I love that cry. It just, it's, it sounds so funny. It reminds me almost of Chewbacca, if I'm honest. <laughs> oh my. Garboder's pretty cool. I like him. Is he a good Pokemon? Well, I've never used him, so that's another story altogether. Oh, he's got the weak armor ability too, so every time I hit him his defense gets lower. But his speed rises as well. Oh, that's bad. Okay, no, it's it's good. I'm good. <laughs> that cry, oh my goodness. Maybe if I do end up playing Pokemon Black 2, then maybe I'll have a Garboder on my team. I've, uh, I've always wanted to try him out. But anyway, uh, that's TM24 uh, Thunderbolt, one of the best electric-type moves in the game, if I'm completely honest. Now in here, there's nothing but a single item. The Dubious Disc, which you use to evolve Porygon 2 into Porygon Z. Now, uh, there's not much to interact with over here, just a bunch of computers and notes and stuff. But I'm pretty sure this is all this stuff is related to a certain event-only legendary Pokémon of Unova. Oh, also, in Pokémon Black to White 2, this area also has a little bit of, um, extra significance. Okay, that's it. I'm breaking out the repels. And the paralyze heal. Because I don't want to leave him paralyzed like that for long. Okay, uh, into the bag.
Where are my max repels? Hang on. Wrong, wrong bag. Max repel. There we are. Look at that. Now, um, where... Do I have any... Yep, Paralyze Heal. Right there. Accidentally clicked the wrong Pokemon there. What do you know? Okay, now let's uh, explore. Okay, a heart skill on that random rock. I'll allow it. Oh! Wild Alamomala, nice. Yeah, it was one of those dark purple patches of water that uh, spontaneously appear when you're surfing. I didn't expect for it to appear right in front of me, though. Okay, it looks like there are a couple more trainers to fight. Swimmer Burke. His name is Burke. And he's using a Frillish. Dang. I have a horrible Pokemon for this. Well, let's see if we can stone it to death. Oh my god, are you serious? Cursed Body, what a time for Cursed Body to activate. Now I have to switch Pokemon. Yay. Okay, Cursed Body. Note to self, uh, equip Sock, or sorry, Black, with a move that's good against ghost types. Simipore. Okay. Might as well keep Malfoy in here. Okay, um, navigate between these currents here. And, uh, this woman's got a couple Pokemon as well. Ducklet, okay? Ducklet, nice. Okay, Rock Tomb, please do not miss. Oh my god. Are you serious? I've got I've got to get rid of Rock Tomb. It it seems to miss all the time now. Even though it has what 90 90 accuracy, it shouldn't be missing this often is what I'm trying to say. I should replace it with a better rock type move. Actually, if I go to Wellspring Cave and use Surf there, there is a pretty decent uh, rock type move I can use or I can find there. Maybe, uh, maybe I won't go to Relic Castle. Maybe I'll just head to Wellspring Cave. Okay, there's a hidden item over there. Another heart scale, okay. Okay, around the currents. And another heart wow, there are a lot of heart scales. And yeah, it looks like we're on that beach now. Nice. Pearl. Okie dokie. A big pearl. Oh, lots of hidden stuff on this beach. Yep, notice me, please. He 
Mike starting off with Scraggy. All right. I'm pretty sure I can Brick Breck you. Yeah, there we go. Brick Brecked. Okay, level 41. Ender. No thank you. <laughs> And Girder is up next. I know exactly who to send in for that. None other than the Petri. The Bird of Death. Alright. I think that is pretty much it for these two routes. Now, uh, should I go to Wellspring Cave? Yeah, there, I think there are a couple of trainers there that I can uh, show off, so it won't be entirely uh, worthless. So yeah, Wellspring Cave it is. The pals wore off, nice. Um... Now, hopefully I can make it back without running into too many wild Pokemon. Okay, you know what? Yeah, I'm just going for the repels. Yeah, repels. Just... I can always buy more. Just saying. There we go. That is one wild ride. I didn't even need the repel. Oh well. It'll come in handy when I'm racing through all this tall grass. Yeah, back to Route 1. And now we should head to Wellspring Cave on foot. I'm not going to go digging around in my uh, PC for Bernice. Not until I actually need to go to the Relic Castle. Might as well get healed up. Now that that's over with, let's go ahead uh, to Stryton City. 